Hi guys and welcome to Samsung Now. Samsung Now is where we look at all things Samsung. We discuss things that are kind of related to Samsung and tech and that includes gaming, things like their TVs and tech in general really. Um, today I want to talk about um, the updates that happen on Samsung TVs and there appears to be an awful lot of issues that are created through um, people having updated the firmware and the software that drives these TVs. Um, and there's a current update, I think it's 1180.5 and there was one before that, sort of 1180. And these are, I believe, updates that go across the entire KS range of, of TVs. So regardless of whether you have like a 7000 series, which in the US is the 8000, or you have what I have here, which is the 8000 series, which is the 9000 series in the US, or beyond, you you get the same update and that's applied to you and I would then imagine that your set um, decides on what's applicable and what isn't and how it works with that. What we're starting to see and what I'm learning from a lot of the community online with regards to the update from the sort of 11, that could be 1170.5 or 1180.5 but I know you know the one I mean. Um, it's the most current one, um, is that it's causing a lot of problems for people. Um, namely sort of things like black levels, there's a lot of washout, a lot of uh, what appears to be bleeding, and I think that's affecting the lower range of the Chaos KS series than sort of say perhaps the, the 8000, which is the 9000 in the US. Um, I, I don't, and, and the one above that, the, the top tier one, um, I don't believe it's affecting that so much. And it appears that there is, on the entry level of um, Samsung's uh, last year premium range, you know, the 7,000, which is the 8,000 in the US. It's, I don't know why they don't keep it for me, to keep it the same for everyone, but regardless. But I think it's, it's causing a lot of, the people that own those TVs are having an awful lot of problems. And I wanted to discuss um, my sort of view on updates. And I'll, I'll, I'll quickly show you um, something which will probably open your eyes a little bit. Um, so if we just go to my TVs, let me move over a little bit. So I'm going to the advanced, uh, the sys, the, where is it? It's on the support, isn't it? and then software update. You'll see I've got 1169 and it says there's a new version 1180 and you'll notice that I've not updated since pretty much when I got the TV and there's a good reason for this is um, my theory and it's usually served me pretty well is if it ain't broke don't fix it. Um, because what tends to happen is if you adopt the most recent firmware update, certainly with things like TVs, I've, I've had issues with TVs of just jumping in at the very first update that comes on. Um, I have experienced uh, disappointment because, you know, there's usually issues associated with updates, so you kind of want them ironed out. And before you would an adopt an update, you make absolutely sure, because you can't roll back, you make absolutely sure that that update is absolutely perfect. And it's going to address problems that are very specific to you. Um, we're sort of led to believe that we should update everything. And yes, we should. If it's your PC, you should always update. If you own a Mac, yes, you should always update. If you've got an, an Android or an, 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 OS, an iOS phone, then yeah, you update those. But in terms of your TV, if you're setting it using, you know, those settings that I use, and it's got the 
firmware software that sort of came with it, or it's, you know, like we have here, which was 11.6.9. Um, 11.6.9 stable, it runs really well. You don't get any color issues or any light lighting issues, none that I've seen. And I had both, th uh, this is the current one, but I had one before this. I had the 7,000, the lower end version of this. Um, previously and uh last year and uh i you know it was pretty decent i didn't experience a lot of problems with it there was some because of the technology behind the differences between this set and the other one the the one i had before the lower range one um i did notice there was bleeding issues on it but that's more to do with how the technology and the lighting works on that tv so my theory is, and you may agree or disagree with this, but when there's an update, don't jump to it straight away, certainly in terms of a TV, because you can't roll them back, you can't change anything. Once you've added it and there's issues with that update, as we've seen with the current update of 11.80 and 11.80.5, which put the 0.5 was meant to address some of these issues and in fact made some worse, um, you, you know, I, my theory is, is what do you expect more of? You know, unless it's actually fixing something that's actually affecting you as, as someone that uses the TV or views the TV, then don't fix it. Um, unless you're absolutely sure that what you're going to update is going to fix that and you're seeing that being fed out through the community, then update it. But until that point, don't bother updating. This is why I don't have automatic updates set on this TV, or in fact, any TV that I've owned in the last few years. So, you know, if you're getting a good viewing experience and you're happy with the picture as it is now, and you're okay with how the software is running, then great, leave it alone until there is something that's caught that you desperately want from the new upgrade and you understand that there may be some issues and you've researched it enough and you know enough about it before adopting that change, then go for it. But don't just leap in. Never, never, ever with a TV, just leap in with the next update. So that's my golden rule. Don't set your TV to automatic update. Don't automatically go for the next, you know, the, the, the newest update date to your firmware and software because there may be issues surrounding that. Um, only do so when you've researched what the user community has said about it and if it's addressing some issues that you're actually experiencing and they've proven in the community that it is addressing those issues and it's not creating others, then jump in. Until that time, stick with what you got and stick with what works. You know, it's a case of if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So that's my thought on this. And I know at the moment with the firmware version I've got, I'm very happy with it. I'm very happy with how the TV's doing what it's doing. I don't need it to do much more than that right now. If I start to notice some other issues, then I may look at some updates later on and then see if they're applicable to me and they're gonna give me something extra. But until that point, I'm gonna stick with 11.69 rather than 11.80 or 11.80.5. So I hope that helps you guys. Um, we've got a lot of uh, calibration videos on my channel, so please look at those. Um, I discuss how you can set up the color and everything, um, more specifically designed for HDR, but you know, I can't quite understand why people are sort of acting, at using really odd, bizarre, um, settings on their TV and they're sort of taking away the, the actual aspect of owning such a TV by, by, by um, sort of lowering a lot of the, uh, the aspects on it. So yeah, that's today's update. Um, I hope you get something from it. I hope you've learned something from it. I hope it helps you guys. And if you have any questions, don't forget to let me know below and I'll be happy to answer them. Thanks again. Have a great day.